Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you a Clio tutorial for beginners. Now this video will have everything you need to know about Clio and how you can use it for legal case management. So without further ado, let's dive right into their website. So here we have the Clio personal dashboard. Now you'll get to have access to this dashboard once you sign up for an account on Clio.com. Now, currently I'm using a free trial account only, so this will only last me up until six days before I'm gonna need to subscribe to one of their plans. So to sign up for an account, just search for Clio on your browser and you should be able to see this on your top result. And then just click it and you get to see this landing page right here where you can either request a demo if you want to see a personalized demo first, before you try out their software. So right here, you just need to fill in their details or the details that they need to set up your demo. And then you can also just directly try a free trial. So just click this and follow the sign up prompts and then verify your email address and you should be able to access this dashboard right here. All right, so before we get started, Clio is a leading legal practice management software designed to streamline law firm operations. And here we get to see the main features of the dashboard. So on the left hand side, which is the toolbar, we have the dashboard, calendar, tasks, matters, contacts, activities, billing, accounts, documents, communications, reports, app integrations, and settings. Here's also uh, your account. You can collapse this if you want a larger view of the dashboard. So right there. Okay, so uh, Clio Academy offers free on-demand training courses as well to uh, quickly bring you up to speed on how to get the most out of Clio and improve your practice. So uh, if you search their channel on YouTube, they also have a bunch of uh, tutorials that are uh, very helpful for getting used to the interface of Clio and how you can use it for uh, legal case management. So once you're done setting up your Clio account, uh, here you can just navigate around the dashboard to get a feel of the software. And uh, there's also a bunch of quick add buttons right here. So this timer, you can uh, set it for... Uh, Actually, just it's just a timer basically, so you can uh, uh, maybe track uh, whatever task you're doing, and it's just an easy access uh, timer that allows you to you know time whatever task you're doing. And there's also you can see here you can edit the time entry after you uh, you stop or click the button again after it uh, times upon your first click. And then you can uh, set an active category for it in the description. And uh, if there's a find the matter for it, and then the date, firm user, and rate, whether it's non billable or not. So this basically can also uh, track the work done. And that, 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 that also works for the software. So we're just going to delete this since that was just a test. And here you also have a quick button for uh, creating something new like you can create a time entry expense entry task matter contact record payment trust request email log phone log internal message event and note there's also notifications right here so if you, you can check for any firm notifications on your software all right so uh, here you also see uh, today's agenda if there are any tasks that are due today and from here there's also a quick add button that you can just click if you wish to add a new task and here let's uh you just need to fill in the details for that new task so enter a name then of course the priority this indicates uh how soon this task needs to be accomplished or the the gravity of this task if it's that important and of course you enter your description and you can assign it to a specific user on the software and you can also toggle on private task which restricts visibility 
So uh, when a task is set to private, it is only visible to the creator of the task, the task assignee, and any Clio users with administrator permissions. So if you want to learn more about permissions, you can click on this link, and you can also assign uh, those permissions to the specific users. You can also uh, indicate the task type, and then the task status, whether it's pending, in progress, in review, or complete, and time estimate, which uh, follows the following formats. So right here, just check these formats out. Clio allows for a variety of duration formats to suit your needs, so whichever you prefer to appear on your dashboard. Then you can find the matter here, and then of course the due date, you can set it right over here. And if there are any reminders, then you can add them right here. Once you're done, just click on save, and you should be good to go with that task. So as you can see, there's one task due today. This is the trial task. And if you just click on this circle right here, then it automatically uh, registers it as accomplished. And it adds a strike through right there on the trial name. So that's for uh, tasks. You can also add here uh, calendar events. So you have no events scheduled for today. There's a quick add button for uh, an event. You can add an event right here. So add the title, invite attendees, start time, end time, and uh, whether this event is going to happen all day or if it's a repeating event. And of course, you can set the location here. You connect to Zoom in your settings. You can connect to Zoom in your settings to add a video call to this event. And of course, you can add a matter, some reminders. And you can save to this calendar, add this event to the firm calendar as well as the selected calendar. So right there, feel free to tick that box if uh, it applies. And then the event type. So you can create firm-wide event types with associated colors to easily identify events and deadlines in your calendar. So just uh, click on the plus icon, and then you can add new event types if you don't have ones uh, set already. And of course, the description. So once that's done, uh, once you have all the details you need, just hit save and the event will be registered in your dashboard. So here you also have billable hours target. So you have an hourly metrics for uh, this user, which is uh, my account. And the amount of hourly work you've tracked toward your targets will uh, show up here. So data for today is refreshed every five minutes. All other time intervals this week, this month, this year are refreshed every hour. So. You can set up your target right over here. So for personal performance, this is under settings and profile. You can uh, update the default billing rate. You have target billings, working days, and fiscal year end. So right there, I'm just going to head back to our dashboard. See what else we can get. So you have the billable hours target right here because we visited the settings. So you have zero hours and 1.9 hours and financial metrics for Nico Gay. This is the target and expected and actual. So you get to compare it daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. There's also a detailed annual report already. And let's check out this side right here for billing metrics for firm. So this is the current status of all bills firm-wide. So any drafted bills will uh, appear here. Total in draft, unpaid bills, total in unpaid, overdue bills, and total in overdue. So if you want to create a bill, you can just click on the quick add button here. And you can select billable cli clients to generate new bills. So uh, you need to have billable clients, of course. And then lastly, we're just going to try to check the uh, matter right here. So if you want to add the matter, just click on that button, uh, create new, and then select matter. So you have this template information, enhance your process by creating a template. So first you can create your template and the templates that you created will appear in this dropdown. This will make things easier and much more faster for uh, creating matter. And then here uh, you need to indicate the contact's name or the client, matter description, the responsible attorney, originating attorney, Client reference number, location, practice area, matter stage, matter status, open and close date, pending date, statute of limitations date. And if the statute of limitations date are satisfied, 
And of course, matter permissions. So firm users with access could be everyone or specific users or group. And then you just indicate them right here. And then you have matter notifications. So firm users that you select will receive notifications when the status of this matter changes or the matter is deleted. They will also be notified when documents are uploaded by clients and related contacts. Now to block users, you can prevent users from accessing this matter by blocking them. Blocking will override any matter permissions, including any groups that the users are a part of. Only admins can block a user. So you can indicate them right here. And for related contacts, information for related contacts appears on the matter dashboard. These contacts will also appear in future conflict checks. For custom fields, you can speed up your workflow by creating custom field sets for often used custom fields. And then billing preference, this matter is billable. And then the billing method. And if you want to add a custom billing rate, you can do so right here. You can set a budget, budget for this matter. And then split invoice. You can also do that. And trust balance notification. So notify firm users when, the, when matter trust funds are low. You can also add task lists here. Documents, fo document folder. So you can create folders within this matter to keep incoming files organized. And then reports, so attorney allocation, select the percentage of collected funds to allocate to originating and or responsible attorneys. Previously generated reports will not be affected by updated attorney allocations. So once you're done setting up the, that matter, then just click on save and it will be added to your dashboard. All right, so that's for adding matter and basically the main features of Clio. And that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.